What's up guys, how y'all doing? Cosmic Carry here, bringing you another World of Tanks video for those of you that are new here. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and for my regular viewers and subscribers. Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome one and all. And welcome to my tank review of the Waffentrager of Panzer IV. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing any of that right. Uh, I know it's Waffentrager, but anyway, I'm going to call it the T9 Waffle or the T9 Waffentrager. And um, this is a part of this tank line, the German TD tank line, leading up to the E100 Wolfenträger. A big, beautiful beast that it is. So I'm basically one step away from reaching uh, the Tier 10 Wolfenträger. Currently on the Tier, ta uh, tier 9 Wolfenträger of Panzer IV. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful machine that this is. It, it is. Uh, I loved playing in this thing. I, I do enjoy my TDs, and if you're a TD player, let me tell you, if you if you're aiming for the tier 10 Waffentrager, uh, on your way to the, that beautiful machine as well, oh, you're going to be rewarded with this thing because it uh, it is a, just simply a fantastic machine. You know, you, the the Borsig was something else. Like, you know, it's tier eight, so you know it's totally different. You, you get into ever so slightly different games etc etc but the Waffentrager the T T9 Waffentrager it's it, I had a blast playing in this thing it was so enjoyable and uh, especially on this TD line me personally um, usually I want to move on to the next tank as quick as possible etc etc so in order to do so I sell the previous tank and uh, in this tank line I'm keeping the Borsig I'm keeping the Waffentrager because I want to keep on using them and uh, I had such a fantastic time in this thing. It really is a blast. So anyhow, let's take a look at those stats on the Waffentrager. 1,600 hit points as you can see. Very, very decent amount of hit points. Very uh, nice amount of hit points. And this tank can move. It can hustle 400 engine power giving it a top speed of 38 kilometers per hour so it's very very able tank when it comes to relocating you know helping out your compadres on the on the flank on the on the opposing side of the map etc etc so you, it can definitely definitely move weak points uh, of this tank is the armor it has no armor to speak of uh, you know, hull armor the tire I mean it uh, pardon me 80 at the front 30 on the sides and 20 on the rear whatever hits you you know you, you're going to get penned you're going to get taken out you're going to get you're not necessarily taken out but they, they're going to inflict the max amount of damage you know pretty much any tank that you, you you're coming up against you know they're going to be able to basically pen you and where are they going to pen you they, they want to be hitting that turret so to speak even though it doesn't really have a turret it's just a uh, a gun with a shield two different kind of t types of shield for two different types of guns but um, um, so it, but it is what it is is a TD you know you don't want to be spotted in this thing you want to be all the way in the back and you sincerely sincerely you're just a TD there's no brawling in this tank when it comes to this tank you know do not brawl you know the, there is when it comes to using the different guns occasionally you might have to brawl so to speak especially using like you know the 150 mil and um, you kind of find yourself um, micromanaging your hit points because of the inaccuracy of that gun you kind of say okay I've got 1600 hit points because of the inaccuracy of this gun I have to push forward etc etc so I'll lose this much hit points and so in those kind of situations you occasionally like on Ansk you kind of okay I have to brawl but for the most part you need to be all the way in the back as far as back as possible and just support your teammates using the fantastic guns on this thing to unload on the bad guys and supporting your team you know to get that win to get that victory etc etc it is bottom line a TD through and through it's not a TD like the the Death Star you know turret 
I believe it's 250. Occasionally you get bounces. It's not a TD, you know, like the tortoise, etc. Uh, you know, a shell of a tank. It's, it, there, there is no armor to speak of on this uh, on this thing. So you don't want to be spotted. You don't want to be on the radar. If you are, you're gonna die. End of. You're gonna die within a blink of an eye. Um, this th does have a, the. I keep on talking about a turret traversable. You know, being traversable. This it doesn't have a turret. You know, like I mentioned, it's not necessarily a turret. It's just a, the gun is. You know, it has these shields on the side of the gun, but. Uh, the gun is fully traversable it, it goes all the way around etc etc and um, as you can see uh, 410 view range and that is there for a reason it's there for a reason it's all about wargaming balancing out those tanks etc etc you have a fantastic gun but this is rubbish and this is great and this is bad etc etc Wargaming basically wanted this tank to be used as a TD to be built all the way back, etc. etc. And that's why you have this fantastic view range 410, which can be extended with binoculars. I, I believe the max is around 440, 4, 450, something like that. Excellent, excellent signal range 700. So, through and through, 100%, you know, this is a TD. You don't want to be uh, showing up on the map end off you're nothing more than the TD don't expect you know you gonna wow I've you know I've, I've, I've I'm brawling with these tanks and I've come through alive luck that's when luck comes in and you know nothing else so we're not talking about luck here <laughs> we've, we've cold hard facts about these tanks so let's talk about the guns let's talk about the guns initially what you're given on this tank is the Bore Six guns, the Bore Six guns from tier eight, the uh, tier previous to this, and you're given the 128 mil and you're given the 150 mil, and those are the first two packages that are made available to you, and they're exactly the same, uh, apart from the rate of fire, which is uh, somewhat better on both guns, and the aim time, everything else, pen, damage, accuracy, is completely the same. So you're initially given the bore six guns so it's 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 not you know necessarily bad news uh, w w with, the, w with the stock version of this uh, tank you know it's it's not necessarily the, you know the end of the world or anything like that so you you're used to these guns you know how these guns work you know the 128 um, excellent uh, 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 aim time accuracy very very decent and uh, Pen high but slightly lower damage. You know, 150 is kind of the, the opposite. Um, higher damage, but you know, you suffer with accuracy and aim time. You know, and reload time, etc., etc. So, so you're used to these guns. So that that's that is definitely you know definitely you know a positive when it initially you know unlocking this tank. So, but you want to be aiming for the uh, upgraded. Um, guns on this thing uh, the 150 and the 128 the 150 uh, pack l38 is uh, an upgraded version of the previous 150 as is the 128 and the 150 is uh, optional if you want to continue uh, grinding towards the tier 10 warfen trigger you don't have to unlock the upgraded 150 and it's you know it's totally up to you you can simply grind onwards to the 128 and then onwards to the tier 10 Wolfram Tracker. So it's totally up to you. Um, me personally, you know, I'm doing a tank review, so I want to do all those guns unless they, you know, I want to try out all those guns unless they're completely unnecessary. I'd, I've done a few tank reviews in the past where I said, nah, this, there's no point to this. You know, there's 10 extra pen on this gun, so I. I I totally bypassed it, you know. But if you want to get the full experience of this, the Tier Nine Warfen Tracker, you have to have the upgraded 150. You know, you have to have the upgraded 150, and it is a blast using the thing. It is a fantastic, you know, blast using this thing. And keep in mind that when I went back and looked at my recorded replays 
of me in this tank, you know, 80% of my replays were with my 150 gun, you know, and at the same time, I preferred using the 128. So, but it turns out I got the best results when it came to replays, when it came to using footage for this uh, tank review, I got the best results with the 150. And just like with the Borsig, I'm not going to tell you guys which gun to use. You know, it is totally up to you. They're to two totally different guns, two totally polar opposite, not polar opposite, but they, you know, the effects are totally different, you know, they, they really are. So the 150, let's talk about the 150 first. Rate of fire, 3.75. So the rate of fire is very, very, you know, it's not the quickest gun. Pen, 235. Damage, 750. Booyah. Uh, aim time, 2.5. Not too fantastic. Accuracy, 0 0.37 to 0 0.42. With this gun, you will find that, you know, sometimes your shot goes woof. <laughs> you know, to the left. Woof, to the right. And you're like, what the hell just happened there? And you simply have to reload. And try again reload <laughs> and try again and eventually you'll get the result but it, it does let you down but when it doesn't let you down you know the results are also spectacular you know the results are fantastic and um, and keep in mind at pen 235 you're at tier 9 you're playing up to tier 10 you know you're gonna be penning those tier 8s etc etc but you know the that pen ain't too high, so you you're looking for you know those nice side shots. You're in a TD, you're holding back, and you're looking. You're hopefully you're trying to get those shots on the enemy from the side as they're pushing through, and you know you want to be hiding in the bushes, etc., etc. So it's a very very situational gun. You know the bad guys have to behave a certain way. You have to be in that perfect spot, and um, you know the planets have to line. And both you get that you know 750 damage so so <laughs> yeah so it's it, it, it's it's a great gun it is it's still a great gun but like i said i'm not going to tell you which um which gun to use the 128 128 for the most part you're on the money you know 128 canoni canone l61 you you're you're on the money you're going to get those shots on target it's just like with the ball stick you know you're going to get those shots on target rate of fire 5.5 pen 276 damage 560 aim time 2.09 and accuracy 0.33 so with this gun you know it is a beast you know you're going to get shots on target you lose the damage you lose a bit of damage compared to the 150 but look at that pen 276 so there's pros and cons to using the two different guns it's totally up to you what you you know what you want to use and you know, I use this gun very very effectively uh, effectively holding back all the way in the back all the way in the back never being detected you know never being lit up and you just unload 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 and uh, 560 is a significant drop from 750 but that rate of fire kind of compensates for that. So, like I said, it's totally up to you which gun to use. And uh, what I found was uh, I would play the 150, and uh, you know you get some good games, you get some great games, etc., etc. And then you you reach a game where it would just fail you, it would just fail you, and I'd switch to the 128, you know, and I'd switch to the 128, and I would play with the 128. And um, and then kind of you you earn for that 750 damage, and then after a while you switch back to the 150. So it's there is no favorite gun for me personally. Like I said before, it seemed like you know the 150 got me the best results, but um, I seem to enjoy myself more with the 128. If you guys can you know figure that out. Anyhow, anyhow, let's get into some gameplay shall we let's get into some gameplay oh before we do before we do pardon me pardon me let's um we need to take a look at that ammo shall we shall we take a look at that ammo uh a standard armor piecing as you can see 1260 and um uh the apc ammo as you can see you know the pen goes up significantly you know big time 
so always uh, carry a few of these absolutely you know four about four thousand four hundred uh, silver coins you know significant you know cost to using these things but definitely keep some high explosives uh, uh, in your tank you know loaded up so you can you can uh, pen other wolf and trackers out there because you know you can pen that turret easy peasy lemon squeezy and inflict up you know but load of damage so let's get into some gameplay shall we okay so first things first we're gonna take a look at the gun depression before we get into the actual game we're gonna look at the gun depression actually we're looking at the gun elevation as you can see when we scoot around to the rear of this tank the gun and the elevation you know drops significantly you see a lot of videos of players using this tank and they scooting around a corner in reverse and using the gun from you know shooting from reverse but as you can see you do lose something you know gun elevation watch it pop up all of a sudden as we're scooting here to the right there kind of pops up so when you're, you're at that you know facing the rear it is you know the, the, there is an advantage that you know you, you're peeking around the corner etc etc and you're hiding the majority of your tank but at the same time if you're looking uphill if your targets are uphill you know there's um, you're gonna be hindered by that gun elevation moving on let's get into our first battle on Erlenberg very very favorable uh, matchmaking and uh, first battle is with the 128 mil 128 mil <coughs> so less damage quicker reload but better accuracy and better aim time so as you can see very 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 favorable match making it of course I am in uh, I'm playing with my buddy mr. Owen and uh, I'll leave a link in the description for his channel he's uh, his, ch his channel still is you know in the beginning stages I believe uh, next month it's gonna go pro so to speak but as you can see uh, 128 mil no. and I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be a sniper I am gonna be a sniper but I'm not gonna be you know shooting from a hot afar hiding in bushes I'm gonna scoot up to the river here and use um, the buildings the houses here the thatched cottages uh, to my advantage you know I'm gonna be popping in and out of cover and taking pot shots at the bad guys and I was hoping basically that the bad guys would uh, you know they're gonna be pushing on, on uh, uh, attempting to cap the base and then I was gonna get some nice, nice shots in on their on their sides as they're you know scooting up on top of the hill instead of using you know the other side of the hill as cover you know from snipers like myself. And uh, why on earth did I take that shot? I haven't got a clue. But it's okay. Quick reload speed. You know you're gonna have another one in the chamber in five six seconds so you're good to go it's not that big a deal etc etc but um this uh, just the same thing as the borsig it's got this uh the 128 nice a um, little bit of skill there you know leading my shot etc etc but this uh, first battle does showcase you know the accuracy of the 128 and this battle it's, it's going to showcase just that the accuracy of the 128 and the quick reload speed you know six cents pull back t29 don't want to mess with him but take a look take a look at that look at that accuracy right on the money like a laser beam yes indeed you know it's breezy like a laser beam and they, i mean these are they're long range shots i mean this is if i was pull back you know uh, on the hill behind me you know with these other TDs I wouldn't be seeing these guys so you have to get you know up close and if you want to be effective etc etc again a, a fantastic shot perfectly you know, on the money etc and Mr. Owen there struggling a little bit in this um, E50 it's not upgraded I believe he has the very first package on that on that thing I myself haven't moved up to the 50 I'm having a great old time by the way playing a whole bunch of new tanks you know really trying to expand my arsenal so to speak Tiger 
moves up just in the nick of time but it's okay it's okay you know i've got you know a quick reload speed you know i can go in for a second shot and there we go 644 very very high damage roll there for the 128 six cents be careful be care careful especially if your six cents are detected you know to definitely yeah you know, you're exposed you're vulnerable especially in this tank be extra cautious extra careful will i get a shot on this is there we go nice 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 shot very very decent quality shot there so i'm taking a peek what do we see here yak tiger no problem possibly maybe a second shot no no not in time sorry buddy <laughs> sorry buddy and he gets taken out good to go and i believe there's a heavy right across the river here no he's not being shot shown up no can't see him okay we're good we're good we're good, we're good. ah there he is there he is there he is uh, there he is <laughs> yes, uh, it's a nice shot. So I'm keeping a keen eye, keen eye on what's going on across the river because um, our flank is about to collapse. You can see a whole bunch of red dots and only two or three green dots. So that, you know, that flank is about to collapse. You know, I, I can only support them so much. I mean, a TD, a flimsy, weak TD. So I can only do so, so much. I can't go, really go over there and help out if I did so. You know. I'd be dead in a matter of seconds and how would that be helping my team so I'm keeping a keen eye you know when is this flank gonna collapse because as soon as it does collapse you know I need to pull back I need to pull back to the hill and uh, be a TD from there and um, because the, ba the bad guys are getting desperate four minutes uh, just under five minutes to go and uh, they need to cap the base so they need to push through be aggressive you know annihilate these guys and as soon as i saw that last guy get taken out on my team i decided okay it's time to pull back time to pull back as you can see you know they've kind of annihilated almost everybody on that side but at the same time we're leading nine to six i screwed up here i do my job i'm a td you know re-establish myself in a new position but as soon as I pull up here, I realise, you know, we've got this, you know, they've only got, you know, just over three, three and a half minutes, and uh, we're good to go, basically. Another bad guy gets taken out, we're leading 12 to 8, only three heavies left. I can basically move in now and play a little bit more aggressive, because, you know, the bad guys, you, they're they're limited they're out of options you know it's just a kind of like a last stand for them you know and, uh, they have no hope of capping the base and so i'm going to push forward here and um, just get some bonus shots bonus kills and this uh, gameplay does demonstrate you know you saw those shots you know they're on the money they're on the target there were there were no shots that were uh, misses that were down to the gun you know the only mistakes that, that were made were down to me you know i didn't lead my shot correctly i didn't aim uh, properly or anything like that but when the shot was you know when the sights were on target and i was aiming for a weak spot etc etc you know i'd get damage you know the gun would, would not fail me and the 128 will not fail you and quicker reload speed but you know the damage is what it is you know it's it's uh, one third less than you know than um, the what you call it the 150 mil so it's totally up to you which guns to use if you enjoy being a sniper 128 is for you you know if you enjoy being a sniper but maybe be, being a medium sniper brawling somewhat with the support of your teammates of course then the 150 is definitely you know, an option for you so but try and remember um, how much damage I get here how much damage I get here because we're going to compare it to the 150 which is coming up next and 
will try and remember how many shots I've fired. Because both the games are very, very similar in damage, you know. And I do like these ops, you know, these ops help so, so much, you know, with the silver. So 5,000, almost 5,000, and 14 shots fired. 14 shots fired. And, um, I believe it was uh, 12 hits. So let's keep that in mind. 12 shots fired, and uh, just over 5k in damage. So. As you can see, I've loaded up 150, shorter battle, thicker. So if you see this gun on the battlefield, just like, you know, the Borsig, think, you know, 7 800 damage, you know, respect this tank, etc, etc. We're Karelia, as you can see, and uh, I'm pushing up to the perfect sniper's position on this, on this map, which is up on this hill on the ridge line, and... Uh, and it's it's perfect positioning for a gun like this for the 150 mil because um, the pen isn't as high, so you want to be getting side shots in on the bad guys. You want to be getting side shots in on the bad guys. And this position here on this map is perfect just for that because the bad guys are going to be pushing forward, you know, through the middle of the map and through the through the top half of the map and as they're pushing forward you know they're going to present be presenting their sides perfectly to me uh, for my 150 mil so being a little bit patient here you know I don't want the bad guys to push through you know and attack me from the rear so I'm going to support you know my compadres here to the right and uh, attempt to get a shot in on whoever decides to push through and here we go Narvan 633. Not not too you know, not too higher damage roll there, but you know, still a buttload of damage at the end of the day. So I get my one little shot in and I decide to take a peek over here. Six sense detected. You know the question is, you know, who sees me, who's lit me up? And I do believe it's the guys behind me, but you know. Okay, so 150, are you going to fail me? Definite, definite, definite fail there. You saw that shot, it just went nuts. It went absolutely bananas. It went... <laughs> Ooh, what a, what a, what a first shot. What a, what a test. That, that, that was the most bizarre shot I've ever seen. It just went, wee. <laughs> Had a mind of its own. I think it ended up in Himmelsdorf or something. <laughs> Little world of tank nerd humor there. Very nice. Okay, let's try out the 150 again. The accuracy of this gun. Okay, who can I get? Who can I get? I got zoom in all the way. Very good. 808. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So <laughs> that was much better, much better than uh, the previous shot. And as you can see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, the bad guys are pushing through. And oh, oh, I'm not sure what happened there. He did move at the last second, so we can't say it was down to the gun. So the bad guys are pushing through, as you can see. Attempting to push through, and they're presenting their sides to me. Which kind of compensates for the accuracy of this gun. So you always have to, pros and cons, compensate this and that. You know, you always have to take things into account when playing a game with a certain gun with certain accuracy in a certain position etc etc so six cents here we go no he's not lit up next target oh he's very very mobile he's very very nope not sure possibly he got behind cover possibly he got behind cover there Behind that boulder. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, there we go. I thought that wasn't going to make it, but it did. So, good to go, good to go. Careful here, lost 400 hit points. 
gun is damaged somewhat. Anybody else? Anybody else? Do my compadres need help over here? Jimmy Fingers. <laughs> and somebody gets another nice shot into me. But it's okay, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. E75. Trying to out outflank my opponent there. The Death Star. And the that's all taken care of down there, I hope. So I can continue with my little rampage up here with my E50. Well, pardon me, with my 150. IS7, this should not be a problem. Oh, again, not sure. What was that? Bounce? Oh, that can help. Okay, we're gonna... Let's try that again. Oh, but he's facing me this time. M103. M103. Come on, stay still. He's very mobile, that guy. He's just... He won't sit still. So he's a smart player. What can I say? Oh, here we go. Here we go. He just won't sit still. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Death Star takes him out. Death Star, right to my left. Okay. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh <laughs> dear, oh dear, missing quite a few shots there. Okay, let's try that again. Mr. IS-7, please stand still. You're such a small target. There we go, there we go. Nice leading of the shot there. 150 didn't fail me. Good to go. Anybody else? We gained a significant lead here, nine to seven. We've taken care of this flank behind me, so all the my compadres that were taking care of that flank have come up here to join me. Oh, one of them get, does get taken out, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. My brother from another mother. There we go, nice shot. Not bad. Not bad at all. You can see the bad guys are doing exactly what I thought they would be doing, you know, which is presenting their sides. You know, they're completely preoccupied. Nice, nice. Preoccupied with, uh, you know, pushing forward and facing off against my compadres up ahead of them. And we're just taking advantage of that, me especially. Here we go. Ooh, a track. Come on, come on. Enemy destroyed. Nice. Mr. Conqueror. He got that first shot into me, I believe. Pull back, pull back. I mean, it's 11 to 8, but I've seen these games, you know, totally change. In a blink of an eye. And you can see that, you know, all that's left is the, is the bad guys in the base. In their base, so. And a lot of times I've seen, you know, when players hunker down, you know, bunker down in their base and they just hold down, you know, even if there's half as many bad, bad guys, you know, they. Sometimes they go on to win the game, you know, because you're you're facing them on their terms, you know, and they have the advantage. Come on, come on, this should be good. Oh dear, <laughs> 150. Seriously, what the heck happened there? I mean, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I don't think it hit anything. And, uh, you know, there was no obstacle or anything like that. I, I think that was the accuracy fail, so to speak. So I'm waiting for, you know, the bad guys to get lit up. Because I, I want to push up, actually. I want to be a little bit more aggressive with this, you know, nice big juicy gun. But I'm debating, um, you know, I want to get a feel for the situation first. You know, have some bad guys get lit up first, but 
Here we go. There's one. There's two. Okay. Question is, you know, where's the third guy? E100. Look at that. They're, they're all on full health. Ah. Oh, possibly, maybe this gentleman is, um, is AFK away from controller. I'm not sure if he is. At the same time, he's angled kind of towards me. Is he AFK? Yeah, he is. Okay. But this is kind of interesting at the same time. Because I'm trying to hit his lower plate. And as you can see, I'm failing. I'm just tracking him. You know, I've got, I've got nowhere else to hit him, basically. No, no, the shots are on target. So the shots are good. But he's angled somewhat, etc, etc. So push down, six cents. Desert warrior. No, it's not going to happen. Nothing there. Nothing doing. And two ba bad guys left. Reality, there's only one. This E100. Is out for the count. So scooting up here. No, there's only one bad guy left. 100 about to be taken out. Good to go here. Put this game in the bag. Good demonstration. For 150. Good demonstration of you know how the you know the accuracy will let you down occasionally and that shot will go wide, it'll go up, it'll go left, it'll go right and uh, I've got the hit points get, quickly get a nice shot in and this bad guy yep, 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 quick, 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 take that shot, get the hell out of the dodge oh, he has managed to get one in on me but good, good dem demonstration 150 very very good demonstration of 150 the accuracy the firepower the damage output etc etc so we're going to wrap things up let's uh, keep in mind first game just got over 5k damage i think it was 50 200 and um i managed to i think i fired 12 14 shots 10 shots were on the money 10 shots were on the money so 10 shots just got over 5k damage let's check out and see how much exactly oh, we're gonna get this oh you're not gonna be you're not gonna be in time buddy <laughs> so with the 128 it was 10 shots and uh, just over 5k damage and I believe in this game I do manage to get a little bit more damage but let's see how many shots it took Let's see how many how many shots were fired. You know, to get that. Again, loving those hops. So you can see I fired 20 shots, you know. I fired almost twice the amount of shots. You know, 13 with direct hits, 11 pens. But you can see, you know, you need to fire more shots to the accomplish pretty much. I had to fire more shots to accomplish you know almost the same amount of damage you know it's so they pretty much equal you know when it came to do to these two games you know the the outcome was pretty much the same but uh the amount of shots needed for the 150 was significantly more more so than the amount of shots needed for the 128 so anyhow anyhow we are reaching an end to this review i believe i've covered everything i believe i've covered every aspect of this tank i believe i've been very very thorough <laughs> top to bottom etc etc moving onwards and upwards to the wolfentrager e100 can't wait to get that thing i have to say i will not be getting it for quite a while because i'm currently working on the french mediums and um I will be working on those more so than the Wolfentrager E100 and uh, Wolfentrager E100 uh, I need 6 million I definitely don't have 6 million silver 
uh, I know I use free XP for this and that occasionally but I definitely do not use free XP I definitely do not use gold to, uh, to obtain silver coins you know that is something that I just I simply don't do you know I've done it maybe once or twice so first and foremost you know I need six million for the Wolf and Tracker E100 and I'm currently grinding on the French mediums and the there's no way you know I'm gonna basically the Wolfen Trigger E100 maybe I'll, I'll be you know in a month or so so maybe for Christmas for Christmas my Christmas present to you guys and for myself of course anyhow hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review a big beautiful machine tier 9 Wolfen Trigger take it easy adios muchachos